Welcome here everyone to the Daytona International Speedway for the penultimate round here of the Core Xfinity Series as um, we're here in Daytona for the second and final time this season this time we are under the lights should be a fun race here a lot of these guys have nothing to lose really they just want to get a win on the board and this is a perfect track to do so so you might see some um, a lot of aggression here out of these drivers so by the way we're going to get you down here to the commands as we go trackside drivers start your engines okay, right there engines have been fired up drivers rolling off of the grid down there on pit road and it looks like everyone will get going here so First time we were out here at Daytona was a really interesting race. Andy Fell led the most laps in the 21, but ran out of fuel um, after being out front for so long. And it was, um, it was Dakota Wynn that ended up uh, taking the uh, victory right there. So we see something like that again here today, or will something different go on? We'll get a first time winner. Will we get someone to repeat this? Uh, repeat a win this season. The only driver to do so is Ignacio Alberti. He, um, He's in a 92, so he'll be going for three here tonight. And if it doesn't happen here tonight, he can still do it at Atlanta. And if he can do it at Atlanta, he'll get a, a championship as well. You take a look in the back right here. A couple guys in the back, Fitzwater, um, and Trey Tatum, and other drivers are back there. This Christian Russell won on the last Super Speedway race out there at Talladega, beating Tyler Mills. Tyler Mills in a 48. He's looking forward to this. You can see that yellow car in the middle of the screen right there. So here we go. Henry Williams, he says he's been learning these uh, restricted plate races, and um, he's hoping to use some of what he's, he can, um, what he has learned to his advantage. Henry Williams in the four will lead the field of green with the ten of Jimmy Hogan to his outside. Seems like Hogan in the ten got the better start. Seven uh, car of Alexander Rowe. We talked to him pre-race. Says he does not plan to stay up front the whole race. He's gonna wait till a bit, a bit later, to um battle for the lead. And we all just see him um dropping back down there or back there. Fisher he says he's getting accustomed to racing these cars, and he's been really good as of late. Here he comes to the race lead. Three wide for third. 87 now making his way up in um on that inside line. That's Michael Creed. The 10 is now uh, way up to the outside with Alexander Rowe, and the yellow flag is out. Yellow flag is out. We got a wreck back here. It's the 60 of Matt Boyle and the 33 of Butch Adams. Yellow flag is out. Fisher leads it at, uh, leads it at the line, and after one lap, we already have two cars with him uh, with some issues here. This is a 33. Going to go back and see what happened here. Oh. Oh, Valley Masco got, in, uh, get, got into the 60 right there. That's the same thing that happened with him and William Brock last week at Charlotte. Where he got into Brock. Brock went down into Doug Hart and sent them to the outside wall. And that's the same thing that happened right here. Just pushing on the left rear. You don't want to do that, especially at this track and especially at this you know point in the race. It's still a, not even the first lap yet. And the 49 of um, Jonathan Dane, he also gets collected. And he has heavy back end damage. But out front is going to be Ramian Fisher in the one. I'm going to take our first break and we'll be back here to the action in Daytona. Welcome back here to the Daytona International Speedway. Getting set to go back green for the penultimate round of the Core Xfinity Series. Ramian Fisher is out front, leads over Michael Creed. Um, 26 of Nelson Reed is also there. All drivers still on the track, by the way. Um, and then you have Henry Williams in the four and Austin Jones running out your top five. 
And Baranowskis running out in the top 10. Here we go. Pace car is all Fisher in that Dodge car looking for the win. Can he get it done even though we're, you know, still pretty early on in the race? But anything can happen here at Daytona. The green flag waves again. And RD3 wide. Look at the 48. Tyler Mills, remember we talked er um, earlier about him. Said he plans to be aggressive here. He wants to put himself back in position to get that win that was that he feels was taken away from him because of lap cars out there at Talladega as the 99 of Boston Jones falling behind on the outside right there Fisher continuing to lead this pack most guys are on the inside line and Fisher he gets forced up high three wide how about the 26 with the move Nelson Reeves gonna get help from Henry Williams Jesse Turner and others Baranowska is another driver who says she's been looking forward to this race. She really knows her way around the super speedways, just has not been there at the end to maybe go for that victory. We'll see that from Baranowska here tonight. A lot of drivers say they plan to be aggressive enough to the point where it puts them in a good position to get the win because this could be the last chance to get that win. Daytona, you know, it tends to favor its first time winners. Let's ride on board here. Still out there. Outside. That's it, my man. You hit him. Spotter communication really important for these drivers. Inside. Especially at these play tracks. Still there. Really critical here. You see, most drivers seem to tend to favor the inside line here. Which are going right there in the 57. Behind Sheldon Bain, who we're riding on board with. That's in the um, 19 right there. 30 of David Craig. I haven't talked much about him. He was. Nearly got a turn right there. Dodgers look like they're working uh, together, trying to make their way up front. And now here comes Audra Baranowskis in the two for the race lead. Will she lead it at the line? She will, getting a huge push from Nick Smith. Ooh, big wiggle out of Baranowskis right there out of the trioval. And the trioval says it's one of the um, parts of this track that's, you know, really tricky because you're turning and it's, you know, on the exit of the corner, you have to also try and keep it straight. It's kind of a weird turn for those guys carrying all that speed into the trioval and carrying it out of it as well as Alexander Rowe already found his way back up front. And he's giving one heck of a push to the two of Baranowskis as they go three by three behind them. Contact! And they save it somehow. Henry Williams, Christian Russell nearly wrecking out of four right there we have to go back and look at that how did they save it and that was jimmy hogan in the 10 who got into that left rear corner panel we've been talking about that gets into the four of henry williams turns him down into ignacio alberti the 12 nearly getting turned as well and then christian russell with that reaction down to the apron right there riding on board with jesse turner through this three wide Oh man, Turner probably thought that was it right there, but great job to those guys in keeping it steady as Alexander Rose still pushing Audra Baranowskis. Couple guys off of pace, losing the pack right there. William Brock, he's trying to hang on to this pack right here. 22 Keith Stevens, he's the last driver in this pack. This Fisher, he's kind of falling the back of ways. There's a 25 of Chase Miller. Donnie Mosco back there in the uh, 20. He's kind of falling back as well. Here's a 52. Dakota win one here earlier this season uh, for the season opener. A little bit of contact with the 44. And that's going to completely crush their momentum. A little bit at least. Close call right there. There's a zero. Being um, getting pressure from the 23 of uh, Christian Russell right there. There's Alexander Rowe, the new driver out front. Ben Oskis falls back to the fourth position. There's a 12 of Brian Fields. Said they know they have the speed to win races, but they too have not been able to get there. Now they're going to get forced to the outside. Christian, uh, not Christian Russell, Mitchell Collins. Now working with um, the 7. Alexander Rowe, we know he's been really quick this season. He too is another driver who just has not been there to close it out. There's Andy Fell, we talked about him. Could have won this race earlier and just ran out of gas. Jesse Turner also making... Their way to the front with Jimmy Hogan. Seven back to the inside. Looks like he's trying to control both lanes right there. Not really a lot of three by three racing anymore. Everyone's just side by side or single foul. And um, I'd say this is pretty good considering the fact that we're not even halfway yet. Don't want to be too aggressive as here comes a 48 of Tyler Mills. Remember, he said he wants vengeance after Talladega. And he wants to get up there and get the win. Proves he has what it takes to race in this series. 
Tyler Mills in the 48. He's up here, currently running in the fifth position. He's going to go underneath Baranowskis now. And I suggest you go there and close the door in the 87. Couldn't really do so. As Jesse Turner now moves up to the second. Now going for the race lead. Jesse Turner, Bristol winner. Now going for the race lead for the first time here tonight. He has the 87 um, right behind of Michael Creed. Creed has been really fast too in the 87 car. I'd, I'd say he's definitely someone to look out for. He's right on board with your race leader. And now here comes Creed to the inside. Bringing David Craig and Christian Russell and others behind them. Sheldon Bain. And Jesse Turner has absolutely nobody behind him. So they're going to go right by him here. Alexander Rowe, he thinks things are getting a bit too squirrely. We heard on the radio, you didn't hear, but we heard that he's going to drop back a little here. Things are getting a little squirrely up front. He's going to settle in right in front of Baranaskas. There's a 21 of Andy Fell trying to make his way up front. He wants to lead here tonight as well. Russell now trying to go underneath uh, David Craig for P2 as the uh, 87 continues to lead. Halfway at the Diane Well contact! 88 into the wall, 40 is around Tyler Mills. Crash into one right there. Caution's gonna be out. Oh, and Andre Baranowskis as well. Is Brian Fields in a 12. And Tyler Mills, we we're just talking about him, says he wants to get this win so bad, and now he has heavy rear end damage. These guys are gonna race it back to the line. Led by the 87 of Michael Creed, Sheldon Bain in a P2. Getting pushed by Jesse Turner and Christian Russell. He's on the outside of Holland right there in the 23. And at the line, it's going to be the 87 on Michael Creed. He's going to lead it. Yellow's out. Caution, caution. Man, Alexander Rowe, I don't even know if he got collected in that or not, but he said he wanted to back out because he was getting a bit squirrely up there, and that's what happened. Oh, and we have another car around. 92 of Ignacio Alberti and Nick Smith. What in the world is happened to those guys? There's Alexander Rowe right there. We have to go back and see what happened here. A couple of cars are going to be maybe out of this one. And no, a couple of them are definitely going to be out of contention. But we saw right there Andy Fell makes contact with the 7 of Alexander Rowe, who indeed was involved in this accident. He has rear end damage. And he just was not able to fall back like he wanted to. Ignacio Alberti may have a little front end damage from that wreck right there. Another look at it. Yeah, Andy Fell and... Um, Alexander Rowe made contact. Now, I wonder if Fell got into the zero as, uh, as uh, well. That's uh, Max Anderson. Brian Fields up into the wall, and a lot of these guys. This was the chance for that win, riding on board with Brian Fields. You know, absolutely nowhere to go, and just. All right, but nothing we can do about it. Just keep running the best you can. Just long for the ride at that point, but yellow flag is out, and this is the incident. What happened here? Nick Smith just. I guess he didn't see the 92 there, and he just kind of went up and got into Alberti, and then Andrew James also collected as well, and it's really going to put unnecessary damage on those guys, and that's not what you need at a track like this. Now past halfway in the race, but yellow flag is out for the second time here tonight. We'll be back at Daytona. Welcome here back to the Daytona International Speedway after two yellows, still all drivers. Very much in this race, but not all of them will be able to be in contention. Michael Creed out front. Leads over Bain, Turner, Collins, and Russell. That is your top five. Then there's David Craig, Max Anderson, Andy Fell, Henry Williams, and Chase Miller. That is your top ten. Getting set to go back green here as the 87 leads, and he gets a really good restart. Not sure if that's what you uh, want at a plate track, because, you know, Kind of makes you a sitting duck. Those guys behind you gets, uh, get a really good run, and they go right by you. And if you put a block, you're going to get turned, so double-edged sword right there. Turner, he backed up to the 52 of, uh, or the 57 of Collins, and here they come now underneath, and Collins is actually going to ditch Turner. Collins is going to go with uh, Christian Russell right there, and that's going to force Turner in the middle. And Turner now with no drafting partner, same with the 19, and Collins, you have to think, was that planned? He was ready to go. Time is running out, and Collins, we saw that he, um, or Turner backed up to Collins. Collins gave Turner the big push, but Collins took the position for himself, and now he's going for the race lead, so it definitely paid off. 
the way he wanted to. And Turner's got to be shaking his head like, man, what'd you do that for? And now Turner's going to have to settle as the second car on the outside line. Everyone still wants the inside. Now Collins getting pushed to the outside. Here comes Christian Russell looking for his second career win. Can he get another super speedway win here? Having Talladega and Daytona on your resume as wins. This would be really big for future references. Max Anderson in that zero. Got not talk much about him. Chase Miller in the 25 is up there. Jimmy Hogan and Turner with a big run on that middle line. But he's going to be right behind the 57. And that should be interesting right there. As here comes the 25. Chase Miller making a move underneath Max Anderson. Coming to the line. With five laps to go this time by. You heard it right there. Five laps remaining. It's now or never. Find your partner. Put yourself in a good position. Do you want to be up front? Do you want to be in the back of this pack in case anything happens? Where do you want to be in now? Chase Miller gets forced to the middle line. That outside, they're trying to form, but not many takers. Everyone is just, they just want to steer to the inside. Now here comes J Jimmy, Rog uh, Jimmy Rogan. Jimmy Hogan with a big run on Christian Russell. Russell, too late for him to block. couple of guys back there there in no contention at all oh 57 he's gonna make it four wide here at Daytona and quickly backs out of it and that could have been messy right there and as they cross the line if they wreck now the race is over Jimmy Hogan leaves at Daytona don't think we'll have to worry about lap cars I don't think there'll be um enough laps for that or at least that's what I'm hoping how about a 26 is up here as well. Nelson Reeve, uh, Jimmy, or Austin Hiller rather. Boston Jones, Remy Fisher is back up here as well. Henry Williams, he's up here again. William Brock, he's just been having the worst season so far. Just getting caught up in so many wrecks. Getting wrecked himself in that five car. And now he's up here in this pack as well. Can he go up there and challenge for the win? Andy foul falling on the outside. Jesse Turner back up here in the 43 as well. Riding on board with Michael Creed right here. Coming to the line. Three laps to go at Daytona. Where in this pack do you want to be? I doubt you want to be the race leader because those guys behind you are just going to either ditch you or push you out the way. Fisher looks like he's going to get a move made on him by the 25. Yeah, Ford, Chevy, Ford, Chevy, Ford, Chevy down here on the inside. A mixture of guys. These manufacturers, they're not really in any particular order or in any, um, they're not even organized on there. Chase Miller in the 25 now going for the race lead. And these guys, they're going to be, they're not going to let anyone sell in the race lead because they know if a yellow comes out now, the race is over. Jesse Turner going to make the move on Mitchell Collins. I told you he's going to ditch him. And he did it first chance he get. Turner goes three wide for second. Two laps to go at Daytona. Collins now stuck in the middle, and that's kind of payback right there, I'd say. And Collins is probably like, yeah, I guess I deserve that. But now here comes Jesse Turner as Chase Miller slams the door on him. A little wobble right there until William Brock tries to make the move on Turner, but Brock's get, Brock just gets... Ditch right there by Sebastian Bain, or Sheldon Bain. I keep saying Sebastian. I apologize about that. And Valen Mosco is up here as well. Keith Stevens in the 22. And there it is. Yellow. We have a wreck. We have a wreck back there in three. And the caution is out. This is a race to the checkers now. Chase Miller with the big block. And he is going to lead it at the line as the caution and white waves. And that's going to end the race right there. Miller is Miller is out front, just barely beating Sheldon Bain right there at the end. And we have, a, we have a couple cars around in the back. And what a way to end this thing. Austin Hiller with some damage. Looked like he was collected. It may have been a really big incident. But out front. It's the 25, and he just has to come and cross. He really just has to come and cross the start-finish line. Waiting for the pace car right there. But he, while that's happening, we're going to go back and see what brought out this race ending yellow. This is going down in a corner three. Oh, the zero. Max Anderson, he gets into the code of win in the 52. 
And it was a chain reaction wreck after that. Multiple drivers collected. Doug Hart. He gets clipped again. And Doug Hart once again the victim of our, our incident right there. And Michael Creed was so fast all night long. He was collected in this as well. You're going to see it right here. It looks like Max Anderson may have just been trying to side draft. But that did not go as planned. And that collects Austin Hiller. Jimmy Hogan, he was really fast tonight. Trey Tatum was having a good run. 30. And then you see the 6 right there getting clipped. And Dakota win. He's not going to sweep Daytona, it looks like. As he gets collected in this one as well. But Chase Miller, he's got to be ecstatic right now. Just, the team is just hoping nothing goes wrong with that card. It just has to cross the start finish for him to be counted as the official winner. Sebastian Bain, he ran really well. Jesse Turner is going to get P3 here. Man, everyone was that whole Run it down, run! that whole pack, that whole lead pack. They were all over the um, all over the place, really. Knowing that anything could happen in the final few laps, and indeed it did. And that wreck ended up putting an end to this race. Chase Miller, he was able to hold off a lot of big runs. We got a car blowing his engine down there on the inside. And it's Andy Fell, and man, that's going to cost him a 12th place finish. And Daytona has just not been kind to Andy Fell. But Chase oh, Miller, man. his Wait first a career that, win is going to come at Daytona. Job well done right there by Miller to put himself in a good position. He got put in the middle with like three laps to go, three or four laps to go, and fell back on the outside, but quickly clawed his way back up to the front, held off a couple big runs, and it paid off big time. Austin Jones ended up getting the uh, final top 10 position right there, and looks like all drivers finished the race here, even after all the incidents we had, but... Chase Miller is finally a winner here in the Core Xfinity Series. And he gets it done and at one of the greatest tracks, nonetheless, in the world. Here at Daytona, he's going to smoke it down. And man. Miller and his team has got to be ecstatic right there, as you heard, but. What a way to get your first win here. That's what happens when you put yourself in a really good position and have a really good team behind you. Chase Miller is your winner here at Daytona tonight. So as he celebrates, it's going to be one more race to go after this. We'll see you out there at Atlanta for the final race. Remember, winner takes all. That's how mock season runs. If you win the race, you are declared a champion. Can Chase Miller get another dub? It'll make it. It'll make his second win. And two in a row, if you can get it done out there in Atlanta, we'll see you guys and thank you for watching.